In this lesson, we're going to be talking about using the Nmap scripting engine to actually probe a service that's running on a UDP port. Now, UDP, since it's connectionless, is notorious for not being easy to scan because if a server doesn't respond with much of anything useful, it may be difficult to determine whether there's anything there. So what I've got is a UDP server that's up and running on a target system, and I actually know how it behaves. So I can write a script that's going to actually probe the port and give me something useful back. I'm going to take a look at the script now and just show you what we've got. It's very similar to the HTTP script that we were using before. I've got the same description or a description field, the same as the other script does. The description itself is actually different. Categories are the same. It's still an exploit and vulnerabilities or vulns. And I've got my imports here so that I've got the library functions that I need. So in this case, the port rule, instead of just being HTTP port, I actually have to specify some more details. I'm going to use port 9876, and the protocol is UDP, and then I need to specify the states. If I see a state of open, open filtered, or just filtered, then I'm going to trigger the action in this script. So now I've got a function that actually sends the payload and that's the data that I'm going to be sending off to the server. So we open up a socket that's UDP, we set a timeout, and then we go off and we send the data. So right here, we've got the data that's being sent off. We make sure that it was sent successfully, then we close the socket down. Now here's actually my function that handles the action that's going to get triggered when this port rule hits. So I've got a timeout that I'm setting. I've got a payload that I'm setting. In this case, I'm just setting it to the word hello. And I'm setting it to the word hello just because the server that I'm using is a Java-based server. And all it really does is it capitalizes whatever string it gets and then sends it back. As a result, I've got the response here. And I'm looking for a capitalized hello. And if I see that, then I'm going to print out found our server to indicate that not only is the port open, but that there's a service running that behaves exactly as I expect it to, which means it's the service that I'm looking for. Now I'm going to run nmap, and I'm going to do a UDP scan. I'm going to specify my port is 9876. I'm going to say my script is this UDP test script that we've just been looking at. And my target is 172.30.42.55. We're going to probe that particular port and see whether it's open. And you can see that it found that it was open. And then the script ran. So we got a hello back in capital letters. And so we're printing out found our server to indicate that not only was the port open, but we got the response back that we were expecting. This is a way that you can probe UDP services to not only figure out whether they're open, but also if they behave in a particular way to indicate that there is a service running that you may be able to interact with in a particular way.